To be honest, nothing is really resolved at this stage. We're still facing a significant amount of uncertainty and any form of knee-jerk reaction for long-term rational investors is probably going to be the wrong one until we know more. Okay, when you say do nothing, that means obviously keep the sort of the course of action that you already had going, which is what? Under the current scenario, what is the best way to invest in and around or protect yourself from the Brexit story? Well, one of the outcomes of last night is making the likelihood of no deal uh, probably somewhat slimmer. It's a tail risk with a lower probability at this stage. So to the extent that investors have been looking at hedge protection strategies around that, I would imagine some of those may well come off the table. If you're a long-term investor and you're looking for uh, long-term opportunities, it's prob you're probably going to say at this stage some form of soft Brexit or no Brexit at all are the most likely outcomes, in which case you might view the UK as an attractive opportunity in terms of currency and the equity markets. I got to tell you, you guys, Johan, have a tough job. It's a hell of a time to be investing in and around the UK, given all that is going on. What are you telling? Are your clients nervous? Are they calling you saying, why would I have any money in the UK, in the pound sterling? I just simply don't know what the future of my own nation is going to be. Yes, we are indeed at a time of great constitutional crisis here in the UK. And uh, that uncertainty is, is well reflected in the market, certainly in, uh, when you look at the volatility of risk assets. For the time being, I can see, however, the pound remaining range bound in that 125 to 135 range against the US dollar. Um, I'm not expecting a huge amount of variation there until the most, the first thing that we really need to see to get progress at this point is either a postponement of Article 50 or a rejection of Article 50 altogether. The postponement, of course, requires our, our EU 27 current partners to agree to that. The, uh, put the stopping Article 50 altogether is in our own gift following that ECG judgment. Yeah, I mean, is there one trade, one play, one company to buy either here or I mean, in the UK or on continental Europe around the Brexit story? Is there any clear path, Johan, that you guys see there at Hermes? Well, the, the, the biggest factor to remember about the UK equity market is that a good 65% of the market are essentially exporting companies. So if there's any sort of positive resolution from here, a softer Brexit than that envisaged by the original May deal, or indeed no Brexit at all, that is going to be optimistic for those exporting companies. And one might well see some form of rally in, in UK equities.